Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. This week what we're going to do is continue working on how sounds can help influence the characters that we make and help us express text in a much more fun, dynamic, and clearer way. So let's get started. What we're going to do this class is work on consonants. How do consonants make us feel? How do they shape the sounds that we have? And how, what kind of feelings come with each of those sounds? So what I want you to do is find a space that you can move around in and then begin moving throughout the space. And the first thing that we're going to start with is b, 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 b. Now the B sound is made with your lips, b, and it's pushing them forward. B. But now, see if you can move throughout the space and see how that sound feels first. Just feel it. B, 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 b. Great. Now, see if you can express happiness with it. B, 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 b. It's really short, but it's explosive and dynamic. Now, anger, sadness, disgust, relief. Try to be sexy with it. Try to explore, express love that way. And now see if you can laugh with that sound. Can you? Okay. So now that we've done that, now let's move to k. Now C and K make the same sound. So with that sound, how does that feel? K, k, k. What does your tongue have to do? K, k. Now your tongue is shooting out. It's almost the same tongue movement that a G is, but there's way more breath and force underneath it, right? How do you feel? Do you feel like a cat? Move around the space. See if you can express happiness with that sound though. Now do anger, sadness, fear, disgust. Try to be sexy with it. Okay. Try to express love with it. Now laugh. How did that feel? What kind of character did you feel like? Pause this, go write it down. Okay, so now that we're back, now we're gonna move around and we're gonna go duh. Now, buh is with your lips. Duh is with D. A D sound is with your tongue and it's hitting your hard palate. Duh, 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 right? Duh. So now move around the space. It's going to feel different because your mouth, all of your articulators are doing co totally different things. So move around the space, duh, and express happiness with that. And now sadness, now anger, disgust, fear, try to be sexy with it, love. Now laugh. <laughs> How does that make you feel? What kind of characters would laugh with that sound? Go write it down. The next sound that we're gonna do is F. Now it's gonna feel like that's all lips, right? And, and what's happening is you have all of this air pressure coming up and you're closing it off and there's just a small release, a small release of air that's coming out through the sides of your mouth. And so with that, what's that going to feel like? Move around the space and see if you can express happiness with that sound. And now anger. And now sadness. And now disgust. Relief. Fear. Love. How did it make you feel? Now laugh with that sound. What does it feel like? See, that sound is where you're feeling something really, really strong, but it's bottled up. There's a blockage. So you're not allowed to express how you feel, but the feeling is full. So if your character is feeling that, then they're going to probably express on that sound if they're really angry with you. But all I can say is fine, right? Fine. Well, all of the frustration came out with the F. Why? Because that's where I would express it. Because I, I can't unleash on you in this environment. I have to choke it down. But the feeling is full, but I'm holding back. And now you know it too. Why? Because I use the F sound. 
So go write that down. How did that sound make you feel? Come back. And now we're gonna do g, g. Now that's your tongue anchored behind your bottom teeth. The middle of your tongue is touching and just kind of gently kissing the top of your mouth. G, 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 g. And this is kind of a buoyant sound. So move around the space. Be happy, then sad, then angry, then full of fear, then relief. G. And now be silly with that sound. Try to be sexy with that sound. Express love with that sound. And now laugh with that sound. <laughs> How did you feel? Go write that down. What kind of character was that? Now we're gonna do H. <sighs> now, <sighs> there's no voice. This is all breath. But whatever you're feeling, it's gonna feel like hot air, right? Whatever that feeling is that comes with that sound, it's gonna kind of creep up and seep out, almost like heat coming out of a vent. <sighs> But imagine, whatever you're feeling is coming out through that. And now, go and move throughout the space and express happiness with that sound. And now go and express fear, anger, sadness, love, relief, <sighs> disgust, <sighs> threaten somebody. <sighs> Do all of those things. Now laugh. <laughs> How does that feel? What kind of character would use that? What kind of character would laugh like that? How did that sound make you feel? Go write it down. Now, j, 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 j. This is your mouth closing. Your tongue is doing all kinds of fun stuff here. It's touching the back of your teeth. J, j and it's kind of jumping off of your hard palate, right? So, j, j, j. So now move around the space. See how this J sound makes you feel. Express happiness. Now sadness, anger, fear, relief, love. Try to be sexy with it. Now laugh with it. <laughs> How'd that make you feel? What kind of character was like that? Go write that down. Now what we're going to do is L. La 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 la. This is all your tongue just kind of moving around. La 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 la. It's kind of licking your, your hard palate and coming down. La. It's doing that, right? So la la la. So now move around the space and see how that sound makes you feel. Experience happiness and joy, love, sadness, anger, relief, fear. Try to be sexy with that sound. Now try to express love. Now see if you can laugh with that sound. <laughs> What kind of character was that? Did it make you feel like something? Not all of these may work for you, but some will. So go write it down. What did that character feel like? Come back. Now we're gonna do mmm, M, mmm. This is you closing your lips. They're smashing together, but that sound is bouncing around and it should be making your lips vibrate. Mm. So you're kind of chewing and feeling the sound. You can really taste this sound. Mm. Maybe that's why we use that mm. when, we're, when we're talking about something delicious. So now move around the space and explore that sound. Happiness, sadness, anger, love, fear. Try to be sexy with that sound. Try to express love. How does that make you feel? Now laugh with that sound. <laughs> what kind of character would do that? How did that sound make you feel, right? It was like you were, whatever the feeling was, you were savoring it and tasting it with your mouth. Mm. So you were kind of enjoying whatever that feeling was, the flavor of that feeling. 
So go write down what kind of character that was. Come back. Now, what we're gonna do is end. Mm, this, your tongue is going to curl up and touch your hard palate. Mm, and you're going to be resonating in your nasal cavity. So you're gonna feel this sound vibrate in here. That's where you're going to feel the sound. Mm. Now move around the space and explore happiness with this sound. <laughs> and now anger. How does it feel up here? And now sadness. And now love. Fear. Try to be sexy with it. Express love with it. And now laugh with it. <laughs> what kind of character was like that? Go write it down. Come back. Now we're going to do P. Now P and B. Your lips are doing the same thing, but one is voiced and one is voiceless. So P is a voiceless version of B. P, P, P. Your mouth is pushing together and pushing those those words right pushing that sound right out so now go and express love with that sound happiness anger sadness relief try to be sexy with that sound now laugh how does that feel? What kind of character would use that? Go write it down. Come back. Now, R has two sounds. And we're going to explore both of those. But first, we're going to do like a growl. Now, your mouth is going to close, but your tongue rolls up. Like your tongue is going to roll up in your mouth, and it's going to make that sound. So now I want you to move throughout the space and see if you can express happiness with that sound. And now express anger with that sound. Love with that sound. Devastation. Fear. Try to be sexy with that sound. Express love with that sound. Now laugh with that sound. <laughs> Ooh, that's different. Go write it down. What kind of character made you feel that way? All right, now what we're going to do is... Now this, what you're going to do for the rolling R sound, and you're going to need this for accents especially, is this is all about breath support. So air is going to be coming up. Your tongue, you have to relax, and the tip of your tongue relaxes, and it vibrates with the airflow that you're giving. So now, move around the space, and not everyone can do this, but if you can, move around the space and express happiness with that sound. Now sadness. Now anger. Fear. Love. Be sexy with that sound. See what it feels like. Now, see if you can laugh with that sound. That feels weird. But maybe that's a character. So go write it down. How did that sound make you feel? It should have felt really rich and kind of luxurious. Because it's full. So go write it down. Now, what we're going to do is... Now, your teeth are going to come together, your tongue is going to roll, and air is going to be pushing through and slowly escaping through your teeth. Your tongue is kind of pulled back. So, move throughout the space and see how it feels. It's going to feel similar to F because it's a slow release, but it's voiced, and your mouth is doing something different. So you're going to taste what this sound feels like. You're gonna taste the feelings. Move around the space, try happiness. How does it feel? Anger. Sadness. 
relief. Try to be sexy with that sound. Now try to express love through that sound. Now laugh with that sound. What kind of character laughs like that? How did that sound make you feel? Go write it down, come back. Now we're gonna do t, 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 t. So your tongue is doing what it did with D, but it's voiceless this time. T, t, t. It's air and your tongue just touching your hard palate. T, 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 t. Or your, the back of your teeth too. T, t, t. It's a specific spot that it's hitting. So now move around the space, express happiness that way. Now sadness. Now anger. Now relief. Fear. Try to be sexy with that sound. Now express love with that sound. Now laugh with that sound. How did that feel? Go write it down, come back. Now we're gonna do v, v. You're going to just barely, almost bite your bottom lip. The air is gonna come out and it's gonna vibrate and you're gonna feel this vibrate all of your face. So move around the space and see how it makes you feel. Express happiness with this. And now, anger, sadness, relief, fear. Try to be sexy with it. Try to express love with it. Love, it's in the word, love. And now laugh with it. How did that make you feel? What kind of character came out of that? Go, write that down, come back. W, wah, 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 wah. Your mouth is coming together and shooting back. Wah, 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 wah. Now move around the space. This should be a gateway to open up whatever you're feeling. Whatever the vowel behind it, the W like pushes its way out, right? It's like, I'm here, people. So if that's the case, what does the W feel like? Move around the space. Explore happiness, sadness, anger, love, disgust, fear. Try to be sexy with it. People do it all the time. So, whoa, whoa. That's that. Whew. Putting you in there. Now laugh with it. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Go write it down. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the middle of your tongue, this is just like the G, but it's a slightly different sound. Yeah. 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 So move around the space. Move around the space and see how happiness feels with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should feel like it's jumping out of you. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's got a different feel than a J does, right? So now sadness, anger, love, relief. Try to be sexy with it. Express love. And now laugh with it. <laughs> if that's the case, how did that make you feel? Go write that down. And now we're gonna do Z. Zzz. This is you, you closing your mouth, your teeth, opening your lips, and your tongue is doing the vibrating. Zzz. So move around the space Zzz. and see how this feels. See if you can express happiness, sadness, anger, love. Try to be sexy with it. Fear. <laughs> Try to scare somebody. <laughs> How does it feel? Now laugh with it. <laughs> what kind of character laughs like that? Go, write it down, come back. Now for our final one, you're gonna use this sound in 
your accents, especially if they're French. Je, 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 je. It's almost a Y, Z, J combo. Je, like if, they, if you were doing a French accent, you would say just, but it would be just, je, je. So now, je, 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 je. It's got a different feel to it, but you're gonna need it for accents because a lot of different accents use that sound. Je. So now move around the space and explore that sound. How does it feel to express happiness? Je. Sadness. Je. Fear. Je. Anger. Je. How does it feel to be sexy with that sound? Je. Express love. Je. See how that sound feels. Explore it to its fullest because the more of a command you have on the sound, the more of a command you have on the language and your expression. Way to go, everyone. You did a great job doing all of these. If there were some sounds that you want to go back and revisit, I encourage you to keep doing this because the more you understand your vocal instrument, the more you understand sounds, the more depth they can have the more possibilities your characters can have, the more possibilities your acting can have. So now we're gonna to get to your assignment. For your assignment, what I want you to do is just upload your experience. What was this like? What was this experience like for you? Good, right? Tell me about it. Which sounds worked? What those characters that you found, what were they? Tell me about them, tell us about them. What sounds made you feel a, a, a certain way? What sounds didn't work at all? What personalities came out? Then I want you to go and find a monologue. It doesn't matter what monologue, find any monologue. And I want you to just pick one of the sounds. The more you know about the character, the better, because there are gonna be certain sounds that connect with that character more, right? So find a monologue, circle the sounds there, and then run the monologue exploring that sound. See if it changes the way you deliver the monologue. See if it changes the way you feel about the monologue. And then what you're doing is taking what we learn and applying it to your craft so that you can have a stronger grasp of what makes you, you, what makes story stories, and how to express yourself in those stories better. All right, everyone, I can't wait to hear about your experience, and I'll see you soon.